Hi, my name is Hadi Faris and I'm in the Shlanov group at Florida State University. And here we work with polymer chemistry. So what are polymers? Polymers are everywhere. They can be natural like the DNA and the proteins in our body or artificial and man-made like uh, what the, all the polymers that you find in your clothes and in in phones and cameras. What we care about more in this lab are polyelectrolytes, which is a special kind of polymers. So polyelectrolytes, just like polymers, are big molecules made of a repetition of smaller molecules called monomers. But in these polyelectrolytes, these monomers are charged. They're either positively charged or negatively charged. And this is what's very interesting in our lab, is that we take advantage of the fact that positive and negative polymers could mix, and we mix them together to make very interesting materials. I'm specifically interested in polyelectrolyte multilayers. And polyelectrolyte multilayers are thin films that are deposited on a piece of glass or any substrate. In this case, it's a silicon wafer. And these thin films could be used for many applications, such, such as coating of biomedical devices or using them as membranes for filtration. The way we make these films is that we stick a piece of glass or a silicon wafer on a rotating shaft and then this piece of glass or this substrate is dipped in a positive solution of polyelectrolytes and then in a negative solution. And then it's alternating like this, so positive, negative, positive, negative solutions until a thin film is built on this just by alternating this, these polyelectrolytes on the surface. So another way of mixing polyelectrolytes, positive and negative polymers, is simply mix them in solution. So we take a solution of positive polymers, a solution of negative polymers, and we mix them in a beaker. And this is what we have. We call this cheese, but it's actually polyelectrolyte complex, which is a sort of plastic. And what's very interesting about this cheese, or this complex, is that we can manipulate it to create more materials. With this lab extruder, we can extrude these complexes that you just saw, the cheese, into these tubes. And not only we can make these tubes, we can also make tapes and rods and many forms of plastics using this cheese. I'm interested in the basics of polyelectrolyte multilayers because if we can understand the properties of these films and then we can solve the problems that are inside them, then we can have better films for better applications. One of the problems that I solved in my first project is the fact that these films have salt inside them. And we came up with a technique where we mix all the, all the polymers inside the film and then we add another polymer and this will get, get rid of the salt inside the film.